if we're going to judge candidates based on precise language, precision of speech, uh, Joe Biden is not your guy. I just spoke at, a, at Dartmouth on health care at the medical school, or not, I guess I wasn't actually on the campus, but the people from the medical school were at the... Sure. I, mm-hmm. I want to be yeah, clear. It would be clear. I'm not going nuts. I'm not sure whether it was a medical school or where the hell I spoke. But it was- yeah. Guatemala, El Salvador, and, mm-hmm. and uh, to, to, to win and say in Honduras and say, look, well, folks, I eliminate one tax loophole out of a trillion six hundred billion worth, for, uh, mm-hmm. a trillion four hundred billion worth. Yeah. No. Out of a billion, billion four hundred four hundred million million. Excuse me, a trillion no, four hundred billion dollars. It's hard to even say it so much. <laughs> And by the way, it's cost a lot of money. It cost about seven hundred and forty million billion, billion, billion dollars over ten years. Trillion Every, trillion. My long friend, time friend, and she's a friend. She's she, been my friend is in she a and friend? out of public or, life. Is um, mm-hmm. we can do it, and it's going to take billions of dollars to do it, and mm-hmm. we can afford to do it. We can't. We can afford. We can't afford not to do it. And I think, uh, <laughs> Secretary, um, excuse me, I wasn't. Excuse, a, excuse you. Press going to say I'm downgrading my column and say Senator Booker. Uh-huh. The fact is that the bills that the president, that the, excuse me, the future president uh-huh. here, that, that, <laughs> that the senator is talking about, invaded another country and uh, annexed a significant portion of it called Crimea. Right. Mm-hmm. He's saying that it was president, my boss, it was his fault. This and they say to you, take my shotgun. I said, I have three, I now have five because my son died and I have three of his. I have five shotguns. No, so have a mechanism to control drug prices. Don't worry about it. You know, the, it's, it's mm-hmm. not, we're, we're no longer using chemical based things. All this thing re, it, 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 with the, the, cancers and other uh-huh. issues related to the immune system are bio oriented. And <laughs> NATO. Wait, what? The only people who reward, entitled mm-hmm. rewards, are stockholders. Mm-hmm. Ladies, we hold these truths to be self evident. All men and women created by the. Go, you, know you, you know the, you know the thing. thing. I, 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 I got hairy legs. That turn that 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 turn uh, um, mm-hmm. blonde in the sun. No sure. one is in a position where they have a <laughs> significant financial disability as a consequence of this SARS COVID nine coronavirus. Roosevelt came up with a thing uh, that uh, you know was totally different than a mm-hmm. than the, the it's called the, he called the, it the you know, the, you know the, the World War Two. He had the war world, the, the war production the war. board. Corn pop was a bad dude. They put me in the hospital and I made it out and so I'm out. None of us want to uh, <laughs> be uh, cooped up in our homes. So I learned about roaches. Knock it, knock. Sounds mm-hmm. corny, but it's real. And the kids yeah. used to come up and reach in the pool and rub mm-hmm. my leg down. Okay. Daddy, daddy, it's unfair to all of us and it's unnecessary for all of us. <sighs> and I've loved kids jumping on my lap. We can make them whole. Can I see you, Daddy? <laughs> Kids jumping on my lap. Mask and gowns and mask and all. You gotta, I mean, the... Mm-hmm. And shields. Why are we waiting? We, the people. Corn pop. We hold these truths. Was a bad dude. Etc. You know the thing. Okay. He gets no crap for any of that. Nothing. Then, of course, if 60 Minutes really wanted to do its job, maybe they could have brought up some well-documented racial issues. Biden seems to have like i mean you got the first sort of mainstream african-american yeah mm-hmm. who is articulate yeah. and bright and and, and clean and nice mm-hmm. looking guy mm-hmm. i mean it's that's a storybook man yeah man so wait, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or mm-hmm. trump then you ain't black Oh, wow. Uh, in Delaware, yeah. the largest growth in population is Indian Americans moving from India. Uh-huh. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' hmm. Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. Oh, for, ouch. I, I'm not joking. No, I know you're not because you're kind of racist. Though. They must be taken off the street. Talking about black men here. That's number one. Number There's one. a consensus on mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Unless we do something about that cadre of young people, tens of thousands of them, Mm -hmm. born out of wedlock, without parents, without supervision, without any structure, without any conscience developing, Mm -hmm. because they literally, I yield myself three more minutes, Mm. because they literally (laughs) have not been socialized. They literally have not had an opportunity. Literally. We should focus on them now. If we don't, they will. 
or a portion of them will become the predators 15 years from now. Wow. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wait, what? P wealthy what? kids, black kids, Asian kids. Not really mean, but think how we think Skinny about it. Skinny kids, kids who climb on rocks, tough kids, sissy kids, even, even kids with chicken pox, you know, are almost as good as white kids. Am I right almost. on that? Almost. <laughs> And you got this. And by the way, mm -hmm. what you all know, but most people don't know, uh -huh. unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community. Uh, unlike the black people. With incredibly different yeah. attitudes about yeah. different things. Yeah, they think differently, not like black people who all think alike, <laughs> every single one of them. That's rough stuff, man. I, I got it. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But Trump is the racist. Shut up. Based on this preponderous preponderance of proof, can any reasonable, objective human being say, uh, holy cow, uh, I'm sorry, it, Joe Biden seems kind of racist, doesn't he? I, I think you could reach that conclusion. Show me similar uh, statements from Donald Trump. I haven't heard him. But, of course, from 60 Minutes in 2020, nothing. Not a word about any of that. 